Alright, so as you're working in Maya and you're importing files or like for me, for example, I have all these parts library pieces. Each parts library piece for me, you can see, is a different Maya file. So as you start dragging and dropping and importing parts library pieces in, you'll notice you have this name in front. And what it, that actually is, is that's the name of the file. So this is what a namespace is. So if you keep bringing in more and more stuff, you'll see more and more different unique namespaces will appear. So we kind of want to get rid of them. So a quick easy way of doing it is you've got this thing called the namespace editor. You simply go up here to Windows, uh, General Editors, and then Namespace Editor. And then here you'll see, yeah, so this is kind of the problem. I didn't, with some of these, I might not have cleaned out the namespaces first. So it's brought previous namespaces within those namespaces. And you get a bit of a mess like this. Cool. So what you have to do is you have to just select them all and then go delete. You'll get this box here. Make sure you don't press delete. If you press delete, oh, you have to manually do it for every namespace, by the way. If you manually, if you press the delete, it'll delete the actual physical geometry like that. So what you have to do is you have to go delete, merge with root, which is the just the basic scene, or merge with parent. So we'll just keep pressing this. You'll see it only didn't it didn't really get rid of many of them, because what you can't do is you can't get rid of a namespace that owns another namespace which is quite frustrating. So the way you have to do is you have to go through and delete them in layers like this. So merge with root, keep clicking it. You can see why it's good to clean this stuff out often or it gets really over the top. Like sometimes you end up with like thousands of namespaces and it's a bit of a pain. And then you just keep going, merge with root. Done, cool, all right, so now everything's all good, you don't have all your crazy namespaces anymore.